Hello, welcome back. This is Jason, and we are playing Oxygen Not Included, sort of blind, sort of kind of. Not really, because I've been cheating. Anyway, today we're going to uh, do some comment. We are going to do some uh, comment, uh, comment, uh, responding to comments, yes. Alright, so last episode, we... We, f we solved this problem. The bathroom problem has been solved. The duplicants can happily take a shower, they can happily go poo, and they can happily use the sink. Uh, that is great. There's a few problems that you guys pointed out. First problem is germs. Uh, apparently there are a ton of germs in this pipe because apparently this thing doesn't actually kill germs. It just takes, it only uh, purifies the water in a sense that it, it takes the polluted part out of the water. So that's fine. And there is germs in this closed loop of pipe. So there's germs all through these pipes. However, the the the, uh, the the thing that I was reading on Reddit, which you know everything that you read on Reddit is actually uh, true and hundred percent accurate, is that uh, it does not matter to the to the duplicants if germy water comes out of the shower and showers them, or um, they're pooping into germy water, which, you know, you think that you would poop in the germy water anyway. And it doesn't matter that you clean your hands with germy water. Now, that doesn't make sense to me, but that's how this works. So, people on Reddit are saying that a closed loop on your um, bathroom situation is fine, and you don't have to worry about germs. What you do have to worry about, and what I was told here, is this. Every time a duplicate goes to the bathroom, it actually adds water to this whole system. So eventually this tank is going to fill up to the top and then this will stop working. I think that's going to be okay because um, what we could do is we could um, add a pipe to here and then just dump it down into here. Um, now that's going to add some germy water to here, and then uh, as a fact it will add germy water to here as well, or, yeah. But we'll, f we'll uh, deal with that if, if it comes to it. The other thing about germs is that the duplicants will not really get food poisoning unless they actually consume germy water. Now we're making um, gristleberry, which is cooked. So if we're using any water to make this, I'm not sure if we use water to make this or whatever. But if we use any water to make this, uh, it, it, the germs get cooked off in the cooking process. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so that is kind of okay. Now. The other thing that our, uh, what we should be, or the, the other thing that we, I was, the other comments, let me look at my other comments for one. Okay, so the other comment was, uh, something about using chlorine gas to, um, to purify this water. Because I know there's a lot of germs in, in this one. Because if you look at the germs here, it's 42,000. If you look at the germs in the one we haven't touched, it's zero. Yeah, we're not at the point right now where I want to start pumping chlorine gas into the base. We do have chlorine gas down here. I'm going to get into that eventually, but that seems a little bit complicated. And if we use the research uh, button here, um, you can see that I haven't even researched any gassing at all yet. So we really haven't been dealing with gas yet. So we'll get into that. Soon, uh, eventually, but not right now. Uh, next thing... 
Okay, Silvis has told me that uh, this thing consumes water, but it doesn't need to consume water. So, uh, what we can do is we can just have it, but uh, we will uh, not allow them to use it. And that way, we can still get a room bonus, but we don't have to actually consume water here. Because, well, it's just nice to look at, Amy. I know you want a cool drink of water, but... Yeah, walk away, it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay, a lot of comments about temperature. Uh yeah, we haven't dealt with temperature at all yet. Uh the funny thing is is over here we got like a super cold air and then it's kinda getting a little toasty over on this side. Um probably because of all the things that we're doing here. I'm guessing that this liquid le reservoir, does this thing produce heat? It seems like either this or this is producing a lot of heat. Um, heat, yeah, plus four. Uh, I don't know what a kadoot is, but <laughs> it produces four kadoots per second and uh, some temperature change is affected by the material attributes of the heated substance. So this, this, and this are producing heat. So I, I have to, I have to um, be careful about how much stuff I build that uses electricity because that produces heat. Apparently, this does not. Supercomputer does not produce heat. But uh, Amy is really hot. She's uh, 37 degrees. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I was like, wait a second, it, uh, she's hot, she's 37 degrees, I was like, oh my gosh, does she have like a fever or something? But no, she don't have no fever because everybody else is 37 degrees as well. So apparently 37 degrees is an uh, is a normal temperature of dupes. So I was like thinking, wait a second, how, um, what's the normal temperature of body heat? It's probably the same because it's a 37 degrees Celsius. Yeah, 37 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that that means in in regular uh, uh, American temperature. Okay, so looking at the skills menu, um, looking at the skills menu, we do have skills available. I, I'm really uh, I'm not. I'm I'm kind of afraid to actually click any of these. Um, right now because I understand that if you have more skills on the uh, characters what will happen is they will get more and more stressed out so if they have like low skills they're kind of like oh man everything's cool man yeah but if you have like lots of skills you're like oh man oh man I'm so stressed out because I'm uh, I'm expecting so much out of out of, uh, out of this colony because I'm I'm just a special person. Uh, so we're gonna I'm not gonna touch the skills until I figure out that I need something done. Um, so that, that that leads us to to where we're gonna what we're gonna do next. Um, I did read someone said uh, deal with the temperature, but it seems like maybe temperature isn't so much of a problem right now. We'll probably leave temperature for future me. Because, as as far as I know right now, temperature is temperature is doing okay for now. Um, but we're going to what I decided is I really want to get into uh, blip blip blip. Not that, not that, not that, not that. What was I going to get into? Uh, something about. Aha! Artificial friends. Uh, I want artificial friendos to help me with sweeping. I have so much crap in my base that needs to be swept up. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do uh, artificial systems as well. Attach the sensors to send a notification when certain conditions are met. Yeah. We're going to do that. No, I don't want that. I want this. And then I want... This. Smart storage and artificial friends. Those are the two things that I want. 
So we're going to do the research on that. I don't know if I want new colonists. I do want new colonists because we got a lot of commenters and I want to put people in. But if we do that, we might be having a calorie problem. I'm noticing that the calories are going down slowly. So the question here is, are we growing things? Uh, growth halted because of irrigation. Okay, this is an immediate problem that we need to figure out. Uh, first of all, let's cancel the sweep of this. Oh, you know what? We're probably trying to sweep so much stuff that I bet you the reason why the crops aren't getting grown is because people are just sweeping everything. And they are not paying attention to... Um, the crops. I think that's what's going on. So, we do, this pump is, is out of water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, that could have almost killed us. That, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, um, let's... Yeah, let's deconstruct. Let's deconstruct this. I don't want to deconstruct the um, wire. I just want to deconstruct the ladder. Okay, let's see that, and then we'll get the um, we'll get the pump down a little bit more. Got research, and deconstruct this thing. Okay. And then we will build it here. Actually, we can probably just build it here. Um, they should be able to access that. The other thing is, we definitely want to kill this tile and put and put a a tile like that here, so that way P doesn't go in there. And then I was thinking we can protect it from P by doing this. I mean, that'll totally protect it from P, right? And then put ladders like this. Okay, alright, so they're going to do that, hopefully that'll help with the situation where there is no water for the farm tile. So we're going to, uh, let's see, finish research, get up, get this done, get these growing, and then hopefully will save us from starvation. Alright, so they're, uh, yeah, they're doing that. Gotta get that water pump, man. Get the water pump. They're trying. Is Beaker Meat stuck? No, he can't be stuck. There's no way. Coming down. There we go. Mia's got it. Oh, Beaker Meats is stuck. Oh my gosh. Yes, we want that. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, now we can get water. We're getting water. And... Oh, we disconnected this. That's not good. Okay. Sweet. So the water is now growing things. That's awesome. And then, uh, we definitely need more water, so this needs to be done as well. Oh, we didn't, oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, so we're going to solve this. We're going to solve this problem. B, wire, no, wire, hello. Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, just like that, and like that, and obviously that's an ugly wire. Ladder, wire B, down, perfect. And then uh, H for dig, no, G, G for dig, and perfect. Perfect. Okay, so the water will get up here, it'll go into here, and then uh, it'll fill this back up. Sweet. 
Oh, Mia, you're not feeling good. Food poisoning. Yeah, I was just saying about the gerbs and how the gerbs are fine. And that people weren't getting food poisoning, but apparently they're eating raw something. Oh, because... Yeah. The reason why they're eating raw stuff is because this hasn't grown yet. Oh, man. We, have a, we might have a food problem here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kill two problems with one stone. Um, I noticed that there was like this area over here that I wasn't using, and also there's some muckroot in here. So um, I think the good idea right now is to dig this out like this. And that way we can finish this room, and then we can dig over to here, dig into this one, grab that muckroot. And then we'll put a temporary ladder. We'll put a temporary ladder uh, over here. Oh, I gotta let them work while that. Well, I do gotta remember to let them work while I do stuff. Okay, so I was thinking this is probably a good spot for a ladder. That, and then we'll uh, dig through. A lot of this, and we can dig a lot of this out, like this, and then leave a floor here, leave a floor here, leave a floor here, and leave a floor here. Now what I'm going to do is, what's going to happen is, Everything is going to, um, they're going to start to dig this out, and, um, and as they dig this out, um, the stuff is going to, like, go onto this row, the, all the stuff is going to fall onto this row. And then whenever I do tile, it'll just drop down to the next row. And then I'll do it in a way that all of the crap will land down here. And then we can put a bunch of boxes down there and sweep it up. So I think that's a good way. And then also we're going to grab some muck root. Because we have like a dangerously low amount of calories right now. A dangerously low amount of calories. But uh, the priorities should be grow... Should be grow... Grow the, these first, and then do other things. Oh, not not that. Priority five, like that, and then look at the priorities, and everything else is five. Um, should be fine. Seems like they're not really that enthusiastic about digging. I could up the priority of the digging a little bit. Okay, seems like digging is happening. And our calories are dangerously low. 7,000 calories. So we really need to get into into this muckroot and eat the muckroot. So I'm going to like dig a path this way and like that. And that way, we can get into this muckroot, get to this muckroot, get to that muckroot. And then priority nine... Here... Down... And... Nine... Here... Priority nine there, nine there... Okay. Hopefully, that will uh, help them eat faster. Eat better. Yeah, the farm tile and the electric grill do not have any resources. Because, okay, so we're getting a little bit of growing here. Hopefully we can stabilize it. Okay, 14,000 calories, that's good. Okay, Mia should come down here and do that. Oh yeah, P, nine, do that. I would rather Mia do this first. Come on, there we go. Okay, Mia's cooking. Very good. And then we're gonna we're gonna dig we're gonna dig all this out. And then I'm gonna make 
a mirror set of rooms on this side. So we can have more rooms and stuff. And then we can put doors in the middle. That way we can have more rooms and we can also expand the bedrooms. We'll have another block of bedrooms over here. And that way uh, we can uh, maybe have a few more duplicates if I figure out that the calorie situation is stabilizing. So that that's awesome. All right, this area over here doesn't have a lot of oxygen in it. Uh, a lot of oxygen in it. Uh, so I put a uh, oxygen diffuser here. Uh, eventually they're gonna do this. So I'm kind of learning that you kind of need to direct their priorities to stuff and things with that. So they're gonna dig this out first, get this wire run, and then that'll be okay. We need a tile there. That. And then all the dirt and everything is going to dump down to this area down here. So I'll probably put a big storage room down here once we get all that stuff done. But they're uh, they're working. Uh, it's safe. You know, it's safe enough. They can they can go up. Oh, they can't go up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's uh, for now. Let's do this. Uh, it's not it's unreachable now but eventually they'll be able to get over there oh and then they're of course I told them to do that first and then the, they need to do this now <laughs> okay I also put a door here to keep the oxygen in in here and out of here it seems to be it'll be doing okay as soon as we get this uh, this thing up it should be fine it should be fine. Okay, so I was sitting here thinking, like, as they were digging this out, I'm like, why d why is there no power? Like, there's just like, oh, there's a little bit of power, no power, a little bit of power, no power. What is going on with power? And then I come down here, and I'm like, who disabled this ox this coal generator? It wasn't me. I definitely did not disable that building. Come on, guys. Why would I do such a, a silly thing? <laughs> Uh, it must have been Bubble Loop. Bubble Loop definitely did that. He came down here and disabled that. The ghost of Bubble Loop is haunting is haunting this uh, haunting this base. Uh, now things are powered. Okay, things are working now. Water is coming up here. It's going through here. That's probably the reason why this was a little bit low, was because we disabled the freaking thing and then we we weren't recycling our water like we should have been recycling our water. Um, that's fine. I'm, I'm guessing that's fine. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're digging this out. Uh, we're going to put some more rooms over here. Uh, we're going to make sure that all of the stuff is going to go down to the bottom. And I think, um, we're going to be good to dig. We're going to be d good to dig this out. Uh, hopefully they can get to that. Otherwise, we'll have to put put some ladders temporarily. There. Uh, get some stuff. Oh, that's a big fall. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. Smart digging priorities important. Like that. Okay. Sweet. So we're gonna let them do that. Um. That's just me putting rooms in randomly that I don't know what uh, I'm going to do with these rooms yet, but our hatch is doing good. He's groomed. He also laid an egg, so hopefully we'll get a new hatch soon. And then we'll also uh, keep an eye out for more hatches as well as we go through. Yeah, I was told that the name of the game uh, is to pretty much exp uh, exploit the entire entirety of all of the starting biome, so that's that's definitely what we're doing right now. Okay, so what I'm learning is, is I'm looking through I'm looking through this stuff, and so eventually we're gonna have 
a lot of materials sort of like in this area because all of the materials that went are up from here dropping down to here so we have a lot of stuff down here right now and what I'm thinking is that I'm looking at I'm looking at this stuff and I want to build things like uh, I want to build things that require right like his automatic dispenser or the smart bin yes the smart storage bin I cannot build a smart storage bin because I need something called refined metal and to get refined metal um, I need to build a rock crusher. So a rock crusher yeah, is here. And since we have a lot of rocks like right here, I was thinking, well, what a great place to put the rock crusher. Right there. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to uh, actually, we're going to de um, deconstruct those two, these two tiles. Uh, and this tile. No, and this tile here, here, and then uh, cancel this, and then we'll build a door like this. And uh, we'll see what happens with that rock crusher. I believe that needs power. So power wire, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, we could run a wire like this. Well, not like that. Cancel. Ah! Okay, um... Mm, wire B. Aha. Uh -huh. Like that. And then... Rock Crusher. Like this. Perfect. Alright. So we're gonna do that, and I'll, we're gonna explore the Rock Crusher. Come on, Stinky Stink, you can do it. Yes. Okay, so for instance, let's say I want a smart storage bin. It says you need refined metal. So as far as I know, metal could be anything. Anything that's metal, so it could be copper? Question mark? So if I... Copper or to copper, and then I just say, say I want like 10 of those and iron ore to iron, and I say I want 10 of those. So they're going to deliver some stuff. He, he's gonna punch it. You're gonna punch the button. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna punch the button. That's the labor intensive job. That is a labor intensive job. However, I need 200 kilograms of this uh, refined metal to do this rock crusher thing. So how many times do I have to punch the button to get a, for instance, smart storage bin? That's a good question. Uh, smart storage bins can automate resource organization based on type of mass, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does it say refined metal 200 kilograms? Uh, we probably should figure out uh, how many refined metal we have. We do have this down here. It's co okay, so 50 kilograms of copper. We need 200 kilograms of copper. That's a lot of button pr punching. <laughs> it's a lot of button punching. Oh my gosh. Yeah, stinky stink, yeah, punch that button. Punch it. Punch it. Okay, we're gonna we're definitely gonna need a, b a better solution. But uh this will work for now. Okay, well stinky stink is doing uh punching buttons. Uh we are gonna um we're gonna experiment with a different type of thing. Uh we're gonna see what a 
a kiln does. So a kiln, we'll put that over here. And we're going to find out what that does. Penguin is going to come over. And he is going to build this. Okay, cool. So we have either refined carbon or ceramic. Uh, sure. Make one of those and make one of these. Oh, that that needs coal. This one needs coal. So that changes coal into fine ceramic. Cool. Waiting for materials. Okay, so Mia's gonna come over here and get this kil kiln going. The kiln is looking like it's outputting some sort of gas. Uh, maybe carbon dioxide is going uh, from there, so... And then, let's see, what about heat? Uh, 32 degrees? That seems okay, 32 degrees sounds pretty comfortable. And then they'll, that does that. Now, I'm not sure why I would need refined carbon or ceramic. So, I'm not sure about that. This one is doing 30. And if you look, eh, it's probably okay. Probably okay for now. Maybe these things are producing too much heat and they need to be moved somewhere else. But for now, I think, I think it's fine. Okay, so, uh... I'm not sure what this needs f to build, but we do have access to this auto sweeper now, and I would really like to put that over here to collect some of the stuff from the farm. But can I place it? Where? Uh, I think. Let's see. Okay, so it's like, was it two by three space? Oh, uh, okay, I, I can put it here, okay. Uh, um, if I put it here and move the light over, I think, or maybe the light and that can be on the same spot. Only lacks ma uh, mech, Atronics engineering skill to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, skills. Um, so this is why I saved skills because there is an electrical and oh, uh, someone needs to get that skill. I'm looking to see if anybody has any hearts on it. They do not, but someone needs to get over there and do that. So, can I have Penguin do this? Penguin is our rancher. You are a griller. You really don't have any skills, so. Um, improved tinkering, electrical, and that, oh. So you need this, and this, and then that. Oh man, okay. Cool, so maybe we're not going to be able to do that yet until we get Massive Dynamic a little bit happier so that he has a little bit more morale to get this. Okay, I understand. Cool. So that means that we have to go back into research and uh, find out how to make people happier. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. We have sculpting blocks, so we might as well get this. And clothing items, that sounds good, and some art. Or art and clothing, or art or clothing. Cool. Alright, we'll uh, f do that, and then we'll see if uh, see if we can't get people happier so that we can make them, um, make them a lot better. The other thing, yeah, we need to, we need to start building out these rooms. 
now that all this is done. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. Beautiful. 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 And then... That. This. And deconstruct the doors. And then we'll put some doors in there and that'll be awesome. The other thing I learned is uh, this hatch. Uh, he'll be... He actually can't get over this. I lied. Okay. Maybe he can get over one tall gap. Maybe he can't get over a two tall gap. Like that. Because I don't want him wandering outside. Whenever we open this. So hopefully... Yeah, do that first. And then hopefully we can get him in here. If not, we'll just move him. Uh, perfect. Now. No! Oh, the hatch! No! Please don't go outside, hatch. Don't go outside. No. No. Bad hatch. Uh, door. Doors are being built. Do... Do this door first. Man, he like decided not to do that. P... Nine. Okay. Getting it done. Let's not let the hatch out, please. Okay, awesome. Okay, we don't need this or this anymore. Beautiful. Alright, sweet. Hatch isn't going outside. We got more rooms to do stuff and things on. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna pro uh, um, I'm gonna add uh, another cot. I'm gonna add more cots, um, and then we're gonna add some decor items like this. We're gonna sweep out those two rocks because they're ugly, and then that's funny because let's see, we have one here, one there, one there, one there. Oh, are these rooms not the same size? Oh no! Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four... Ah, oh, it's one tile off! No! Um... Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just, um... We will solve this problem, just dump, dump this water over here, and then we'll move this over one tile. That's fine. We can, we can solve that. That's, it's, not, it's a huge crisis, I know. It's not, it's not symmetrical. But we'll, we'll get it figured out. Sweet. Uh, I also put um, mesh tiles here, so that way gas can freely go up and down as it pleases. Uh, cool. I think that's okay. Okay, so that's all the time I have for today. I want to make one quick note about the episode length. The episode length is going to be a little bit variable because I am, of course, I have a real life and I have to actually do work and stuff. So um, I have very little time to actually do recordings. Basically, come come back from work. I have 10 hours to do whatever I want. Uh, 10 hours. It seems like a lot, but if you factor in that you got to sleep for at least eight and then... Uh, you have to eat and do other things like take a shower and take care of other things. That's not a lot of time. So uh, I'll, I'm trying to squeeze in the recordings when I can. And so the episode length is not going to be a problem. What will be an issue? Okay, so the schedule is supposed to be Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday uploading oxygen not included. If I have extra time during the day, because some days I'm off and some days I'm not, 
If I have extra time during the day, I will give a bonus episode on Wednesday. So there will be a bonus episode on Wednesday if I have extra time. Otherwise, my schedule is uploading Oxygen Not Included on Monday and Friday. Uh, th thanks guys for uh, all your comments and everything. Uh, I'm really enjoying uh, just uh, playing this for you guys and uh, giving you just a little bit of entertainment for your day. Okay guys, uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye bye.